everybody. I'm Marco with the Comics Pals. Here with me, I have Ben Khan, the writer of Heavenly Blues as well as Shaman. Um, so before we get into the books, I just want to get to know you a bit. Um, I know that we both have a, an interest in uh, Mysterious Time Machine. You know Roger. Uh, so tell me a bit about yourself, and then uh, how, how you kind of got into the, the comic, got into comics, excuse me, and into the, like as a career as well. Yeah. Um so I'm a New York-based writer. I've uh, been living in Manhattan for the past couple of years. Um, I got into comics in college. I started reading uh, here in Philadelphia. I went to school here in Philadelphia at UPenn. And really, I didn't read comics at all when I was a kid. I only really got into them when I turned like 18 or so, came to college. And then just spent the next few years trying to improve my writing and get to the point where I was confident putting out uh, real, complete work. And that first book uh, ended up being Shaman. Uh, yesterday I came by, um, we, we started to chat a little bit, and I was definitely interested in Heavenly Blues, but I hadn't, I hadn't seen Shaman before, so I haven't gotten to read it yet. Right, I, no I, it's on my list, it's on my list, no it's on the all. pile. Um, so tell us a little bit about that, uh, about the book and about the production as well. You can? Yeah. So Shaman is the story of a necromancer and his teenage daughter. They bring dead people back to life and go on all the craziest supernatural adventures I can throw at them. Uh, best way to describe it, maybe think Hellblazer meets Rick and Morty. Okay. It's, uh, it's a bunch of different like one-shots and a two-parter. So you get a lot of different adventures and a chance to get to know the characters and the world they inhabit. Um, it's mostly just trying to put together a lot of crazy urban fantasy action and have a lot of humor along the way. Yeah. And, um, you've teamed up with uh, it's Bruno, Bruno Hidalgo, Hidalgo, right? And that's for both Shaman and for um, Heavenly Blues. Heavenly Blues. Yep. Uh, is there like is there a reason you guys just like work together? Is it like uh, yeah? I mean, we work really well together. Um, I love working with Bruno. We have a great working relationship. And once I finished Shaman, I knew I wanted to do Heavenly Blues, and I there was no other artist I wanted to work with on it other than Bruno. Speaking of Heavenly Blues, like tell us tell us a little bit about it. I uh, I managed to like, glimpse at some of the art. It's spectacular. Oh, um, I'm waiting to dive in because yes. it looks like a really it looks like right up my alley. Heavenly Blues is the story of the souls of the greatest thieves in hell team up to pull the ultimate heist on heaven. Awesome. Your main characters are Isaiah Jefferson, a smooth-talking bank robber from the 30s, and Aaron Foley, a 12-year-old scam artist who tried to escape the Salem Witch Trials. Emphasis on tried. She is a 12-year-old in hell. You can guess there was no happy ending to that story. And... Uh, yeah, we're trying to create like a real classic heist story. You know, I grew up watching Ocean's Eleven and Sting and Italian Job. We're trying to do that. Um, and then with the afterlife story, we get to explore a lot more themes, try to create a really unique, interesting world. And we get to pull from lots of different sources with our main cast and they come from really all the best thief archetypes from throughout history. So we're able to pull from, you know, Great Depression era gangsters, uh, you know, the Wild West, uh, feudal era Japan, ancient Egypt, and we're really able to, it, it's a great way to kind of get to play with all the coolest toys in the box. Oh, that's, that sounds awesome. And um, I've heard that you have yet to meet Hidalgo, like in, in real life, it must yes. mostly been. We've, uh, we've never actually met face to face. Uh, when we did Shaman, we really only emailed each other, but now the language barrier isn't so bad, so we're able to IM each other. Uh, with Heavenly Blues. We've upgraded to chat. <laughs> what do you, uh, whether he comes here to the States or you go over to Spain, like what do you guys, the first thing you guys are going to do together? Probably hug. I'll just give each other a good hearty hug. <laughs> That's awesome. Man, good manly hug. <laughs> uh, a, bro, a bro hug, if you will. Yeah, exactly. No, I love Bruno. Bruno's, uh, he's my brother in arms in this crazy world of comics. Awesome. And, um, the title Heavenly Blues. Are you a fan of the Outlaws? Is that is that the reason for the title? I, I'm I'm just oh, curious. Uh, no, it's not so much the song. More is trying to create like a kind of mood. Okay. Um, you know, try to reference the afterlife nature. But really, especially with Isaiah Jefferson coming from like the 20s, the 30s. Even though we look at lots of different main uh, time periods, him being the main character definitely colors the rest of the book. And his era has the most influence. So just trying to create a bit of mood and atmosphere and kind of reflect some of the themes of the book. And awesome. The hope with the title, Heavenly Blues. Awesome. That sounds awesome. So do um, you have any, anything coming down the pipeline, anything you might want to like plug aside from Heavenly Blues and aside from Shaman? 
Well, Heavenly Blues is being published by Scout Comics, so the first issue is actually coming out uh, July 26th. And uh, it's going to be a six-issue miniseries, and it's coming out monthly after that. So it'll be in comic book stores everywhere. So anyone interested in checking out the book, uh, just go to your local comic store. Tell them you want to get Heavenly Blues by Scout Comics. Awesome. Congratulations on that. Uh, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm really excited. Uh, and where can we find you? Social media, websites? Yeah, so uh, you can find my website at www.benconcomics.com. And then you can find me on Twitter at Twitter and on Instagram at, at BenTheCon. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking your time out. Um, for you guys at home, if you like this, definitely go check this stuff out. It's awesome. I can't wait to dive in. And uh, if you want more stuff from us, the Comics Pals, go check us out on Facebook. Go check us out on Instagram. The rest of the stuff on YouTube, we're recovering the rest of Philly 2017. So let us know. Thanks, guys. <laughs>